Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the channel. Today I have the Subaru Impreza WRX STI here and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing into a drift monster hopefully because I do know what sort of uh, customization parts we can actually add onto this thing or uh, most importantly the engine swap that we can do to this thing so it'll be kind of interesting to see what, uh, what the car will be like once I fully do all of that. Anyway, the main and most important thing about this video is it's going to be played on the Xbox One. So I wanted to see, because not a lot of people will have like a decent PC to be able to run this game um, on the PC, or not a lot of people will have an Xbox One X, I think the majority of people that will end up getting this game will have a normal Xbox One. So I wanted to go ahead and see what I'm gonna guess the majority of the people will be playing this game like. So um, I'm gonna try in this video to compare this game to its basically to the uh, to the PC version of this game. Uh, again, like I said, right now I'm playing on the Xbox One. The previous videos that you guys have seen me play of this game were all on the PC at 1080p, 60 FPS. Um, and uh, right now, this game is at 1080, I think. I don't know if maybe it is like 960 or something, but it's upscaled. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think that's how the Xbox One does some of the games. Um, but it is at 30 FPS. Um, it is a little bit weird the way it looks. Again, like I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about it once I get outside and I'll actually show you guys what the whole game looks like. Now before I continue with this video, I want to let you guys know about something awesome that I'm doing with a website called chrono.gg. For this week only, from September 17th to September 24th, I've teamed up with them to let you guys know of some awesome deals on our website. This is a racing themed week, so there will be a bunch of racing games on sale on their website if you guys want to get them for cheaper than the full price of course. Now this website works in partnership with the developers of the games so all the keys for the games they're legitimately gotten no scams nothing like that they've gotten from the actual developers themselves so you know that if you're buying a game from this site you're not going to get scammed or anything like that. Now something that's kind of awesome about this week's sales is that a portion of the sales will go to a charity called Wings for Life. It is a spinal cord injury research charity so that's kind of awesome and if you guys want to buy a game make sure you consider visiting the website link will be in the description to chrono.gg now let's get back to the video first of all uh, what we have to do here is pretty much uh, go ahead and build this thing so let's have a look uh, and see what we can do to it visually I know what I'm gonna do to it mechanically so we'll do that afterwards uh, visually I want to get rid of these uh, of these lights I guess but those are I guess on the bonnet or on the hood. Um, for our front bumper, I kind of like the one that's on it now. It's, it's a little bit more interesting than uh, than like a standard one that's already on it. Uh, I think I might get rid of the wing just because it'll look a little bit more interesting if I do end up getting rid of that. So let's just do that just for the fun of it. For our rear end, um, sure, let's put the, the Ings one. Um, anything else here? Um... No, I maybe maybe I will just get it so it matches everything else. I definitely don't want to put. Oh, uh, actually, this one, the charge speed one, looks a little bit better. So we'll choose that one for our bonnet again. I'm just gonna get rid of the lights. I know it's it's like cool looking with the lights on it and everything, but like we're turning this thing into a drift car. We're not turning it into a uh, a rally Most car. So you can change out your tires and wheels here. Cool, 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 cool. Well, I'm gonna keep it on sports tires. I'm not gonna give it anything else higher than that. Uh, for our tire width, it's got 275s on the front end. Let's bring that down to around 245s, and stay with the rear end. We'll do that to about two, two, uh, 255s, uh, and we'll keep it there. I do know that now I can actually change the color of the car because somebody have, or well, a few of you have told me in the comments of the previous video that I can actually change that so um i don't know what i'm gonna do with the wheels i'll try to see if i can find a set of wheels for this thing that i kind of like and uh, and i'll put them on so i'll be back i guess in a second once i find a set of wheels that i actually like the way they look on this car all right i'm a fan of these uh i think what are they called again tenzo r's i think they are let's have a look uh yeah tenzo r dc6 v1s i kind of like the look of them so i decided to put these on we're on 17 inch now we'll go slightly bigger 19 just look a little bit too mad so Let's just go with a nice, simple 18-inch front and rear. Um, this is going to look a lot different now because it is on rally suspension, so it is lifted. Train, so you can um, put okay, wait, 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 wait. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that just yet because I need to engine swap this. I need to drive tray swap as well. So let's turn that into a rear-wheel drive, first of all. don't know how much money I will end up having left over for that. But we can put the 6.2-liter V8. And this is the engine I'm going to end up putting into this thing. And it is a 4-liter flat 6. So that is pretty sick. 
Um, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go with this. I don't think I'm gonna... Should I turbo it? I'd be sick, though, if I get, like, a... Ooh, I'm actually kind of tempted to turbo this thing. I'm at 61 grand right now. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's twin turbo this thing. That's... Oh, I don't know what to do now. Like... It's gonna be really powerful and really fast, and the main and most important thing is that I don't know what is going on with my um, with my power because I don't know what kilowatts are in in horsepower. So I, right now I'm on kilowatts. I haven't changed the settings of this thing. There's handling, platform tuning, that kind of thing. Cool, cool, cool. We already have all these. So if I go to oh, so low, whoa, that just changes the whole stance of the car. Look at that unruly suspension. And looking out the drift suspension. That looks pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. So I think a lot of the stuff is already buffered this thing, so I kinda like that. Thank you very much, game, for doing that. Roll bar, everything, even weight reduction, that's that's bot. I don't know how much power Here's this thing actually makes right now. If you're working under the hood. Yeah, again, I don't know how much horsepower this thing is making right now. You know what? I'm just gonna look it up. I'm just gonna type it up on Google and look it up because I can't be bothered to leave the whole garage thing and then come back again. Alright, so this is at 576 horsepower right now, if I keep it like that. So I think we can go a little bit higher. I think I'll be down to go a little bit higher. We'll see what sort of power we can squeeze out with this thing. Um, I don't know. How much is, like, what, 550 kilowatts? Let's try that. 550 kilowatts is 737 horsepower. So if we get anywhere near that range... Oh, it's a 582. I might keep it at that. I don't, I don't know if I want to go any higher. It'll just be a little bit boring if I just max out every single car that I, that I choose to do. What will it be at now? 603, 619. And adding another 75. That's almost 700 horsepower. And then plus this. Yeah, it'll be over... Uh, not 700 horsepower. It'll be over 700 kilowatts, which is... Almost 1,000 horsepower. So it'll probably be 1,000 horsepower if I do end up doing... Everything to this guy. So, you know what? I'm going to keep it the way it is. You keep I'll just buy and install these cards. Um, 582 horse or kilowatts, which is around... Let's have a look exactly what it's ended up to. So, 582 kilowatts. It's at 780 horsepower, which is way more than enough that we actually need to actually slide this thing. Um, let's just hope it's actually good to drive. Let's just hope it's actually good to drive. See, the one thing I would have liked for this car, because we can, um, we can get ourselves... Uh, the whole drift suspension kit, right, on it, and it looks it looks good, right? But the problem is that some of the cars have the bit to do your track with, so you can bring your wheels out a little bit more towards your the edges of your fenders, whereas for some reason, cars like this, that you can actually have camber on it, I can't do it to the wheels, and usually it's in this setting here, and it's uh, it should be at the very end. Uh, only one of the cars in the demo actually has the, the kit right now, and that's the Dodge uh, Charger. And you can only do it for the rear wheels, you can bring them out, and that's it. For the rest of the wheels, for every other car, I don't think you can do it. I haven't seen a single other vehicle that you can actually do that to. Uh, so I'm going to go into... Um, I'm going to go into... What's it called? Into Forza Vista, because now we can actually change our paint. So if I go ahead and select that bit there... That's just not what I wanted to do. Head on to the paint and do some stuff to this thing. I'm down to go like all black with this thing, as I think it will be... Kind of interesting to to see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm down to go all black with this car. I think it looks good. Again, the paints are pretty much the exact same as before. I don't think anything else has actually changed on this thing. I'm not going to go with something too bright. Uh, or even like a grey. A grey would be kind of nice on this thing. Uh, and maybe get the wheels to be either fully black or... Actually, I kind of like the whole black and black and red. You have a little STI badge on the side. That will, uh, that will make this thing look uh, nice and interesting. It'll match the Brembo's. Uh, for our bonnet or hood, I think I'm going to go with a little bit of carbon fiber. Make it look a little nicer as well. It'll make, I'll, I'll get this one as well, so it sort of matches the paint as well as the gloss gloss carbon for that. Uh, for our wing mirrors, again, I think I'm just going to go with carbon fiber once again. Same thing to match the hood. Uh, for our wheels, it's fine. There's no wing on it, so I don't need anything there. Our windows are fine as well. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to keep the wheels the color that they are now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this to current car. And this is now our STI drift build. Hopefully, this is decent to drive. Again, there's not really a lot of options to change on this car to turn it into more of a drift car. I really do wish that there was like that option for every single car. That is that, that's kind of annoying that you can't change. Uh, there's no specific body kit that you can change this thing. You can turn it into a rally car if I really wanted to, which obviously I'm not going to end up doing because it was already a rally car. Um, could change the wedge if I really wanted to. Um, yeah, everything else is pretty much. Pretty much fine. I'm happy with the way this thing looks. Now, let's drive this thing 
and see what it's like. And I'll show you guys the difference between the Xbox One version of this game and the PC version. So if you guys have seen the previous videos with the whole 1080p 60fps thing, it looks beautiful, it looks great. I turned off motion blur and all that sort of stuff. So right now, as you're looking at the game, you may be wondering, it doesn't really look that bad. There you go. There's your 30fps, which obviously doesn't look that great. And the main and most important thing... Is all that motion blur just makes this game look weird to me. I was never a huge fan of motion blur and I just I still don't like it. But what a car. With all this power is Oh my god, it's unreal. Jesus. I I didn't expect that. Drift zones. Hook it in, flick the back end out. Ride the handbrake all the way through the flag. Oh my god, this thing just pulls and pulls and pulls. I like the way this sounds, I like the way this drives, it's nice. I, I don't think I'm ever going to play this game on, uh, <laughs> on Xbox, ever. I'm sorry for the people that have to experience this. I mean, it's not a bad experience on this game, but like, once you get it to play on your PC, or once you get it to play with like 60 FPS or over 60 FPS, uh, no motion blur, none of that stuff. It just it it's just looks like a completely different game. It's just so good. Right now, it just reminds me exactly of what Forza Horizon 3 used to look like, which is is perfectly fine. And the best thing about Horizon 4 is they've changed a bunch of stuff for the PC version of the game, so it runs even easier than before. Before on Hor on Horizon 3, I, I remember I used to like struggle trying to stream the game. And it's just because of the bad optimization of the game, and that's pretty much it. There's no other reason why why I couldn't stream it or record it or anything like that on the PC. So, um, right now, if I go and I play the PC version of this game, I can easily watch other videos on the other screen, I can record, I can do whatever I want, and there's not even a little bit of stutter uh, on, on that game. It's It runs perfectly, and it's maxed out, like all, all Ultra, everything maxed out. Uh, 1080 60 FPS or, or even over 60 FPS because I have 144 Hertz re refresh rate on my on my monitor so the the FPS range for for the uh, for the game is set even high it's actually set to 144 obviously because since I can see uh, games at 144 Hertz with this monitor then it's it's perfect and having to play this game on console now it just feels like a downgrade it feels like it's it feels like I'm trying, like I'm holding myself back, or, or whatever. But it's it's very very interesting. I like the way this thing drives. I think it's really really good, and I think I can definitely beat my what is it, 110,000, uh, for this drift zone, which is really cool that it actually saves. Wait, does it save my stuff? It does save it. Look at that. It saves it from my PC version of the game. I don't really understand what this whole one and two thing next to my name is, but I mean, cool, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I think I can smash out the Dodge Charger here and get 110,000 points or over that even. Um, to get even higher on the leaderboard. So, you know what? I'm gonna try it again and try to see if I can do it. Obviously, I have to come in from the top because the bottom part is just not that great. But, uh, yeah, let's try it with the Silver because it actually drives really, really well. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. A little bit more angle, though. A little bit more angle. Oh, I need a little bit more angle for that. I don't think I'll be able to get anywhere near 110,000, 103. This guy is stupidly good. This guy is really, really good. This incredibly torquey Porsche engine is so good. It is unreal. I have to keep it up in the revs, though. Oh, this might be the one. Uh, no, it's still 106,000. Come on! Oh no, that sucks. That sucks. I definitely could have done that. Anyway, I'll leave it there with this with this suppressor. Oh, it's really good. I love this engine though. This engine is so nice. It's so smooth. I think if I would have actually twin turbo like up upgraded the turbos on this thing, I would be able to do this easily. But then I'd have like a little bit too much power to play around with and I mean I, like it's a little bit different then with the way this car handles I think it's just well like it's it's more than enough now to be able to get like stupid stupid points with it 
but it's it's really nice to drive now. It's really really nice, very very controllable. Whereas if I like put a thousand horsepower into it, I know it'll it'll be a little bit less controllable. Let's let's just put it that way. But yeah, the difference between this and the PC right now, there's a lot of anti-aliasing on this game. Um, on or sorry, a lack of anti-aliasing on this game. Is that person in a truck? This dude's driving around in a truck, in a racing truck. I forgot that they added these into the game. That is really funny. Anyway, uh, but yeah, basically lack of anti-aliasing in this game, uh, a lot of motion blur, and um, basically just makes the game look a little bit different, a little bit weird playing like this. Uh, so I definitely will be playing this game, and you guys will be able to watch, if you can, at 60 FPS. Uh, you should you should be able to see all of my videos uh, on uh, on YouTube now from from uh, from now on, I guess, at uh, 1080p 60 FPS for for this game specifically. Uh, because I will be playing it on PC. I'm not going to touch it on, on console uh, ever again, I don't think. But yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.